two. Let's see. Uh, pretty slow, but I like it. Let's keep it. We got our colors. We got uh, the pilgrim. Can fetch up basically whatever we need. We have Inferno Faith that goes on the Pilgrim and Renewed Faith. So what do we want to see the least on the other side? Probably, probably hex proof. That would be pretty, pretty bad. Island again. What is this island gonna do? Pretty nice picture. I presume it will produce a blue mana of some sort. The Elver of Secrets. Yeah, we will have to kill that. We could wait until his turn, hope that he plays a ninja, uh, especially when we drew the second bolt. But I'd prefer to resolve the pilgrim next turn if I can. From one mana there's not much they can do and if he plays another pilgrim or no another delver I will probably bolt it and play pilgrim. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't like Delvers. Chain Lightning is also a good card. Uh, what are we gonna fetch up with this? Probably... I don't think the Pilgrim can go the distance. So I'll probably fetch up the Curse. We could also fetch... Not fetching Imperial Armor or Inferno Fist, not Bonds of Fate. We could fetch Fate Feathers, but I'm gonna fetch Curse of the Pierced Heart. Next time we can play Chain Lightning and Curse if we need to. Uh, we could play just Inferno Fist and Smash, depending on what he does. Yeah, we will see. Wouldn't mind another land. Not a ponder with a different picture. I do enjoy this picture. It took me so long to see that it was a face in the background. So when I discovered that, I thought it was pretty fun. Shuffle, bottom, top. Okay, so what did you draw? Ooh, the Scorn Hawk is also pretty good. Hmm. The greeter play is Inferno Fist. The more conservative play would be Curse or Scorn Hawk. Oh, I want to play Inferno Fist so bad, but I think. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty tough. I'm gonna gamble on the Inferno Fist. It is a gamble. But uh, if he has like an unsummon or rape a snag, that's horrendous for me. But hopefully he does not. So, whew, which result? We could have gone for Score on Hawk to refill our hand or Curse because it's so good when it lands. But now we have a pretty good clock and an uncounterable way to kill a little creature. So this pretty much forces him to do something and then we can play Curse and Chain Lightning or whatever. <laughs> yep, still okay.
Ponder and Preordain are so freaking good, but they're not good when you're getting beaten down. Choose to shuffle. I wonder what he's looking for, actually. Ooh, Stagger Shock, that's good. I'm just gonna pass here. There's no point for me to try to tap out into a counter spell. No point giving him any value at all. Now we could cycle this to maybe hit a land. Cycling is not counterable. Oh, uh, that's that's not good. <laughs> Scordorn Hawk number two. The same goes here. If he isn't gonna do anything, I'm not gonna do anything either because I'm winning the game. And I can close it out very fast if he plays like. Uh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I thought it was mono blue again. Oh, okay, so it's combo. Three. Oh, that's not enough. Uh, let's just play a Doom Traveler. It's so good that he discards Assault Stroke because that clarifies what he plays. Now I know exactly what deck he's playing. And that's good because now we know he has count spells. So it's not only that he's losing pretty badly, he also gives away a ton of information for me. And that is good. That's very good. Now he's pretty dead to my burn. I don't think he can play anything that's lethal. No. Uh, let's try Shane Lightning. Okay, let's play. Hmm. Yeah, let's play Curse of the Pierced Heart. So now he could very well win in two turns. Uh, if he plays um, Nivik Cyclops here and next turn pumps it and wins. That's unfortunate. Top top. Then we're probably dead. Yep, Nivik Cyclops. Uh, we're one mana short. That's very unfortunate. So, because I misjudged what deck he was playing, we're about to lose this. Now he needs unblockable, assault strobe, and two spells. Which is not unreasonable at all. So he gets three, so it's four, seven, ten. Yeah, he needs four spells, one that gives double strike and three other spells. And one of the spells has to give it either protection or something. Divination. Yeah, that's sure. That, that's, that's fine. You don't have another turn.
Divination is pretty interesting to play in that deck. Yep, can't do anything about that. Yep, and that's exactly lethal. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay, so now we know what is playing. Circle of Protections, Celestial Flares. That's what I want. Uh, let's remove the Curses, it's too slow here. And Faith Feathers. Then we have Imperial Armor. Is that the only thing we can search up then? and bonds of faith yeah and the inferno fists okay uh, I still think I cut one inferno fist though there we go yeah I was so sure that he played mono blue that I just yeah I could have played anything into his stuff at any point he had a counter spell so that's that but it would have been much better to go through that counter wall and uh, resolve another threat if we would have played the what's it called the curse the turn earlier we would have won so that's pretty awkward but that's life. So the circles protect us against Kill and Fiend and Nivik Cyclops and if we place it we Dragonaut. It doesn't protect us against Delver but I think we can beat a Delver too. They are not the most fantastic threat in that deck. Alright, game is starting. Yes. Uh, decent hand, but no. Oh god. This hand is not good, but I think it's worth keeping since it has the circle. The payoff is big enough. We can deal with the Delvers and this will deal with anything else. But of course this is a huge gamble. Let's say we go down to 5 cards and have 2 lands, 2 threats and a bolt. Is that better? Probably not. So are we taking a mulligan or not, sir? So our best draw is basic planes. So we can sneak this under the count spell barricade. And then I don't see how he wins through this. I guess if he plays more threats than I have mana, then he wins. I'm gonna go ahead and pause until he has decided if he wants to keep or not. Okay, we have kept 7, we will keep 6, and it's a bad hand, but we will see. Maybe it will work out. What is your first play? Ponder. Okay. Planes of the top for the ultimate victory. Even one planes is not 
that good, but it buys us pretty much infinite turns. So we put on top, 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 obviously, but pretty fast. But now he's deciding if he wants to shuffle. That's usually something you do while you're looking at the cards. Yeah, Ponderer is a tricky card. Not to shuffle. Okay. Planes. Or skill gate. Well, that's acceptable. Now I hope that he does something else so I can land this. Whew. Now we can probably resolve this and from there we will have a pretty good way. And since he didn't shuffle he knew pretty much what he was going to draw so he could be brainstorm locked here. I'm not that fond of brainstorms in a deck without shuffle effects. Even in Pauper I would want to play like 8 shuffle effects or something. So you pondered, you kept, you drew one card, you drew the next card, played Brainstorm and looked at two fresh cards. So I imagine if you have a land you're going to play it. This guy makes me pretty sleepy. If nothing else, we will win on time if he doesn't kick up the pace. Gonna look at the last game, I think. If I don't remember how much mana we had the turn he bolted our pilgrim, but if we, yeah, he would have counterspell it. Okay. Oh well, then it wouldn't have mattered that much. But I think we would have gotten in one more damage somehow if we did not use the Inferno Fist. I'm just gonna Well, uh, I'm gonna pause it again then. Alright, this passes the turn. So he's brainstorm locked without lands. Highly interesting. That probably means that the circle of protection will be pretty good. Can you beat that? What? Hmm. I'm not sure how that is possible, but obviously it's possible. Oh, nice. Uh, let's go for the pilgrim. And let's go grab Curse of the Pierced Heart. No, we to remove them. Uh, then we'll probably go for the Inferno Fist, I think. 
The Curses is decent when you have this board position, <laughs> but uh, I still think it. Jeez, you had a brainstorm too? He must have put him back in the wrong order or something. Okay, I assume this is going to flip. Mana leak. Deal. I'm gonna take three. So, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna start off. Now he could have. Hmm. He could have a bolt. So I don't wanna play the Inferno Fest. I'm gonna play a Chain Lightning and see what he does. I'm pretty sure it will mana like that. I'm not really sure why, but he counter spell that. Uh, deal. Then I will bolt this. And attack for one. So it's possible that this isn't the uh, most experienced opponent. Uh, in that scenario, there is no upside to use the account spell above the mana leak, especially if I know about the mana leak. So, no plays, that's fine. Uh, I'm probably just gonna hit for one. And now I think I will play a Rift Watcher. That should get mana leaked. Yay. It's just that I don't want to play Inferno Fist into open red mana. Uh, same is true here. It would up my clock, but now that I know what I'm up against, it's fine. Sure. You have another Pirates of Charm? <laughs> okay, deal. So, he probably do doesn't have a bolt. Now, a uh, white mana would be pretty good, or uh, I guess any mana. Gonna burn him now, I have a lightning bolt, so. <laughs> Spell Pierce. Okay. Or a monster. Uh, it's sad about that, but it's a creature. That wears Inferno Fist. Maybe it thinks that this prevents the damage uh, even to creatures. And that's why it didn't play a bolt. If he bolts this, that's probably the case. That's fine. I'm gonna play in Inferno Fist. Let's see if he has a bolt. He does. Okay. It's unfortunate. But now we have come to the place where I don't have enough mana to mess around. And he still needs to win through 
the circle. Yep. Uh, do we shuffle? Yeah, and as I said, I will win on time, if nothing else. Uh, yep, that's fine. That is also fine. Okay. Your guy will do no damage. So it can attack for 5 damage next turn. So even if if I draw a land next turn, do I play Mistmoon Griffin? Oh, he has Artful Dodge in the bin as well, so he will be able to attack for 5, 8 at least. Well, as I said, this game is probably over because I don't think he can win. Even if he draws a Delver, I can probably kill it at that point. And he will time out pretty shortly here. It's pretty rare that people walk into an onboard trick. But I mean, no matter what he would have played, even just the ponder, I would still have used the circle. But at least that will force me to keep a man up every single turn. Yeah, come on, dude. It's not that hard. Yeah, so I know five, six, seven, eight damage could be coming next turn. So basically, it just needs a bolt or a chain of uh, cantrips and he wins so I'll probably not tap out guess what I'm gonna pause again alright he scooped and we won so pretty boring ending to that game but uh, circle of protection is pretty good uh, of course it was only one win one loss but I'm pretty confident that we would have been able to take down game 3 as well so see you shortly for game 3